Okay, so I have a story. Not sure if it is paranormal, but freak me out. I live in Arizona. Went camping with some work friends in Sedona area. Near river, wooded area. One friend has speech issues. Has some roticism issues. Couldn't say R sounds very well. Anyway, went camping in a remote area. Set up camp near river since it was before mosquito season. Roticism guy is quiet type. Just sort of falls into background. Don't see much of him. Everyone is running around, exploring and swimming. Gets dark. Things settle down. Roticism guy is still not around, but no one is too worried. Grown-ass man can take care of himself. Not that late, either. Getting darker. Starting to worry. Roticism guy finally shows. Takes seat by campfire. Says blankly into it. Ask if he is okay. Yes. Ask where he was. Says nothing. He has always been aloof and quiet, so just let it go. He's back. Safe. That is all that matters. Stop having fun with other friends again. Forget about Roticism Guy. He just sort of slips into the background as always. Go to bed. Roticism Guy and a few others stay up. Felt good going to bed, but couldn't fall asleep. Got more and more restless, drifting in and out. Kinda have to piss, though. Maybe that would help me sleep. Get out of tent. Roticism Guy is still in his exact spot. Barely able to see him from the burned down coals. Nearly shat myself. Creepy as fuck. Fuck. Just can't describe it. He was just sitting there. Completely still, just looking at the coals. Rub hands together and put them near fire pit, like he was warming them with a big fire. Not sure what to fucking do. He turns and looks at me. Finally, decide to say something. Maybe something freaked him out from when he disappeared. Maybe he saw a dead body or something and is now in a catatonic state. Start calming down. You okay? It's like 4am. Suddenly stands up and starts talking. That's cheery, but can't seem to put emotions behind it. Bell was on for a few moments about the sun coming up soon and getting another good hike in before having to leave. Wants to go for a hike with me. Like, right that damn second. Doesn't want anyone else to come or know where we are going. Doesn't want me to even change clothes or put on shoes. Gets more and more persistent. Suddenly realise that he is pronouncing words perfectly. Roticism guy cannot say some words correctly for his life. This guy has not messed up a single word. Start freaking the fuck out. Say that I am going to wake up others. Go towards the tents, rattle them. Yell to friends that it is time to get up. Never take eyes off of Roticism guy. He sits down, returns to his pose of just staring at the coals. Most friends get up, pretty pissed at me. No fucks are given about that. Say anything needed to keep them up. One guy bitches about the coal, talks about getting firewood. Roticism guy offers to join him. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Don't know what to do. Out, Roticism guy? Try to lie to keep him still? Or just let friend go off with him and be thankful that it's not me? Retarded me. I volunteer to join them. Roticism guy stares at me for a moment. Might have been a glare. Might have been just a calculating stare. Either way, I know that I saved my friend's life. Roticism guy follows us slowly. Just really fucking creepy. Like, he didn't fit with us. Do not leave friend aside for a second. Keep looking back at Roticism Guy. Friend gets the idea that something is up. He starts looking back at Roticism Guy too. Get the damn firewood. Get back. 
Never take eyes off of Roticism Guy again. Friend does the same. He seems to get that Roticism Guy is acting weird. Just stares blankly. Doesn't talk unless spoken to. We'll do out of place actions. Like, he'll kneel down and pull his shoelaces around like he was pretending to tie them. All of the others return to sleep for a few hours. Once people wake up, no one but me and my friend notice that Rotterson guy is weird. He will randomly talk to the others, trying to get them to go off alone with him. No one does, since he was always so weird about it. He asked one guy if he wanted to go piss, for example. Roticism guy might be quiet, but fuck, he isn't that Aspie. Keep close eye on him, make sure no one gets alone with him. Pack up. Time to go. I'm driving. Once we get near Sedona, Roticism guy asks to be let out. Says he'll walk home. Fucker lives in Phoenix. Two hours drive. Let him out. Do not give any fucks. Just want him out of the damn car. Others seem confused, but I don't care. He gets out. We drive off. Stare at him. He doesn't move, just twitches a little bit. Make turn. Can't see him anymore. Immediately tell others what happened. Slightly scared that he'll jump out and start doing gorilla on the car or some shit, but nothing. Others comment that he was being weird, but still don't agree with just leaving him. Can't seem to convey that he wasn't being weird. No one but the firewood friend believes me. He doesn't speak up much. Drop it. Back at work, Roticism Guy doesn't show up for a few days. When he does get back, stays far away from me. Not sure what to do, but he seems to be back to normal. Doesn't offer to go to the bathroom with any more people anyway. Eventually talk to him. He's pissed as to why we just left him out there. Yell at him for being so damn creepy. And besides, he asked to be let out. More arguing about the facts until I get it. He claims that I took him to show him something on the first day. Walked for hours, then I disappeared. He was lost in the woods the entire damn time. That was not Roticism Guy that spent the night with us. Never speak of it again. Never tell Roticism Guy my side of the story.